Hello everyone, I am Saurabh and today we will solve one of the most frequently asked SQL interview question that is how to find the second highest salary or how to find the third highest salary or nth highest salary from an employee table. And in this video, we will not just solve this complex problem, we will solve it using three approaches. You will learn three important concepts of SQL in this series lectures. So without wasting much time, let's get started. All right, so this is the employee table I have. In this employee table, I have four columns, employee ID, employee name, department name, and salary. So let's run this query. Here you can see that I have employee ID, employee name, department name and salary. And what we need to find out, we need to find out the second highest or you can say third highest salary employee. So when it says we are looking for the highest salary, that means we need to order our data. Okay. So in this table you can see that we are looking for salary column and in this salary column we need to do the sorting in the descending order that is a person or an employee getting the highest salary should come at the top so let's look at it select start from table and to arrange it in the sorted order we have to use order by and then we have to specify the column that we want to sort. And then we have to specify the order in which you want to sort it. So we want to sort it in the descending order. Now let's run it. Now you can see that our data is sorted now. The first row that contains the employee name Dheeraj is getting the highest salary. And then the second highest, then third highest like this. Now our point of interest is to find Now, our point of interest is to find this record, the second highest salary taker. Now, how we can find it out? So, for that, what we have to do is, we have to basically fetch all the first and the second row from the data. So, we, do, we are not interested in this 111, 122, 123, these records. So, for that, we are going to use the keyword that is top so we are interested in top two rows from this database and now if i run this you will see that we have got the two records from our earlier query so you can see that earlier we were getting all the records in the sorted order now we are getting just top two records now, next thing that you want, you are interested in the second row only. So now what we are going to do, we are going to order this output in the ascending order so that the second row will come on the top. Why? Because the second row contains salary that is less than the first row. So for that, I am going to write something like this. Select start from PT order by PT dot salary in ascending order. So what I did first, this is going to give me this output and on the top of it, I am going to order it on the basis of salary in the ascending order. And now you can see that now the, the second highest salary taker is coming at the top. Now what we want, we want only this first record. We are not interested in this second record. So for that purpose, we are going to use top one. And now if I run this, you will see that we are getting this second highest salary taker that is Komal. Now let's run it the whole database, you can see that this Komal is our second highest salary taker and our query is going to give you the second highest salary taker that is Komal. 
So this is the first approach using the top keyword. You can easily top and order by. You can easily find out the second highest salary taker or third highest salary taker. Let's say you want to find out the third highest salary taker. So in this case, who is the third highest salary taker? That is triple one employee ID Melinda working in IT department with salary eight thousand. To get the third highest salary taker, we don't have to do much. We just need to change this inner query top three. And now, if I run this, you will see that we are getting the third highest salary taker. That is Melinda. So this is the one approach through which you can solve this. Now let's look at the second approach using window aggregate functions. So here we are going to use. Window aggregate functions or window ranking functions. So now let's look at the database first. So this is the data that we have. Now, what we want, we want to give a rank to this output on the basis of the salary. That means if someone is getting the highest salary, should get rank one, and then successively the employee with the lower salary than the highest salary should come as a second ranker. So for that, we have to use window function. And how we write window function? So for that, we use rank. Here we have to specify something like this. Then we want to do over, and here we have to specify on which column you want to find out the salary. So on which column you want to perform ranking. So we want to perform ranking on the basis of salary. So we have to write order by salary, and we want the highest salary taker to be on the. top rank so that is why we have to arrange it as a desc descending and then here i will call this column as rank now let's look at it now you can see that we have got our rank output over here now what we want from this database if you look at it we are interested in this record so our second approach we are going to use the sub query so how we write sub query this is going to be my output and then i'm going to write select start from this output which we have generated that contains rank and now i'm going to give it as temporary output pt dot rank equals to 2 and now if i run this query you will see that we have got Komal as the second highest salary taker. That is the exact output which we were getting from the first approach. So what you have to do is you have to use rank function. So what how we use it? We have to write rank function over and then in which column you want to perform the ordering that you have to specify over here. So this will give you the rank to our data, and after that we have to filter the second ranker. because we want to find out the second highest salary taker if you want to find out the third or the fourth highest salary taker you just have to change the rank over here now let's look at the third approach of doing this so in this case we don't do much we will be just creating common table expression common table expression how we write common table expression we use with keyword and then we have to specify the table name so let's say cte employee rank is my table name and then we have to write the query over here so we are going to write select start from the, our table name that is employee table over here and now i am going to give a ranking to this employee so i am going to write rank over order by salary desc so this is going to give rank 
so this becomes my common table expression and now what i am going to do i am going to simply write select star from my common table expression that is cp underscore emp rank where rank equals to 2 and now if i run this you can see that we are getting the second highest salary taker so this is a common table expression where we store the temporary output or intermediary output generated using this window function and then we will simply run select star from the common table expression and then we will specify the where clause so in this case we are looking for the second highest salary taker so we will use rank equals to this if you want to find out the third highest salary taker you can change the rank so this is the simple three approaches to find out the very common problem that is how to find the second or third or nth highest salary taker